Well, welcome back once again. Sadie's already waving to everybody. I want to welcome you back as we come together. We're going to have uh, another little children's time. Are you ready, Sadie? Yes. Yes. I don't know what we're doing this time. You don't know what we're doing this time. It's a little surprise. We'll see what happens. Always unsure. I was going to do uh, another experiment today, but it's a little too windy outside. So probably best we will wait, maybe do that next week. Is it with fire? Can't say what it's with. It's a surprise. But we'll see. Hopefully next week it'll be nice outside. It is nice and sunny. I hope you're out enjoying the day, but it is a little windy outside. So we're going to stay inside with our experiment today. How's your week going, Sadie? Good. Good? Learn anything in school? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You have to write a book. You have to write, well, not a book. A story. story. And what's your story about? A unicorn. A unicorn. And what's the unicorn's name? Wish. Wish. Wish the unicorn. So it'll be good, a good story. And did you see all your classmates today? Yes. Yes? We had a classroom meeting. You had a classroom meeting. And that was fun to see everybody again? Yes. Yes, it was. Excellent. So what do I have with me today, Sadie? A blue candle. A blue candle. And a glass. A glass. A lighter. And, yes, I did a message, but the phone's on silent, so we'll be all right. And then, what else do I have? A bowl of water. A big bowl of water. Now, we are going to uh, do an experiment here. Mm. And we're going to use this blue candle. Is it going to soak up all the water? Nope. Is it going to, like, put the cup on top and it's going to soak up all the water and put it? Nope. Water. We're going to put the candle in water, and it's going to stay burning. Huh. Is it going to be in the cup? Or is it going to be standing up? I'm going to light it on there. Now, have you ever seen a fire burn in water? No. It no? It would go out instantly. Why would it go out instantly? Because water beats fire. Because water beats fire. That's pretty much it. So water beats fire. But in this one, we're going to see... That fire will overcome water. Cold water. Cold water, yeah. So we'll put the candle in there. Freezing cold water. It is cold water. All right. It's floating. It's floating, that's right. Now, I'm hoping they can see this at home. I don't think they can. You don't think they can? Well, let's see what we can do to help them at home. I want to put it further back. Yeah, I might want to put it further back, is right. All right, we'll put it back a little bit. Oh, now they really can't see. We now they're going to be they're going to have motion sickness at home, Sadie. All right, so we have our candle in the water. See right there, little blue, little blue candle. Little stem. Now we're going to light the candle. Jesus, just kidding. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. There we go. There's the candle burning brightly. Now we'll slide this back just a bit so that everyone can see. There's the candle. There we go. On fire from their yes, well, I think it does. See? See, it's not, see they can see. Now that it looks like on fire. All right. So, now. We're going to put that on top. I'm going to put that on it like this? No, not like the other way. Like this? Yeah. And what's going to happen? It's going to stay on fire with water coming up. With water coming up? But I'm going to put the candle right to the bottom. Oh, but no, no. It's going to be like a big air bubble. It's going to be like a big air bubble? Yes. You think? Big air bubble. A big air bubble. Well, we'll see. There's already wax coming off. There's already wax coming off. So put this in the center. Oh, no. I'll put this down. What's, hap oh, what's happening to it? It's, it's working. They can't see, though. They can't see. But look. It's still on fire. It's still on fire. Yeah, well, don't tip it or it won't be on fire again. Yes. Now, they couldn't see that, could they? No. Try again. Try, well, we'll try again. maybe what we'll try is this way. We'll take the can camera and we'll put it like... Now, you're all going to get motion sickness. Sorry about that. But we'll put the camera just like that. Be careful. Be careful? Be careful. You might drop your phone in that. I hope not. So we'll push this over a little bit. And we'll go like this. And we'll go right to the bottom. And it's still flaming. And it's still flaming. And it's still there. 
So, was that something that you expected, Sadie? No. No, you didn't. Also, it with the air bubble. With the air bubble. But what could have happened there? Many terrible things. Many terrible things. And you know what? What happens if we didn't have the cup? If I tried to put it underwater like this? It will go out. Would it go out? Yeah. If you dunk it underwater right now, it's going to go out. If I dunk it right now underwater, it'll go out? Yes. Did it, last, did, did it last very long? No. It didn't last very long. It did. It made a little pop. So, I'm going to read you a portion of scripture from Jeremiah. Do you know who Jeremiah was? Nope. Was he a bullfrog? <laughs> no, I don't think. Well, that's for all you older folks out there. Jeremiah was not a bullfrog. Jeremiah was a prophet. And he was a prophet of God. And these are the words that Jeremiah said. I want you to listen. Okay, stop playing with the candle now. Put the candle back in there. All right, I want you to listen. This is what the Lord says. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. So what's, uh, what's the Lord saying? What's God saying to us? What kind of plans does he have for us? That he will find us. And what else? What else is he planning? Does he have good plans for us or bad plans? He has good plans for us. But in order to have good plans, what has to happen? What do we have to do? Be good. Who do we have to follow? God. We have to follow God and Jesus. and Jesus. And that's important for us to remember that the Lord says he has plans for us, good plans for us, not for disaster, to give us a future and a hope. So it's important. So God has good things to store for us. Does that mean it's going to be easy? No. But it means what? What happens if God told us that we have to go to a difficult spot, just like this candle had to go underwater? Could we do it by ourselves? No. no. The candle can't go underwater by itself. It needed what? The protection. It needed protection. It needed somebody to watch over. watch over it. And that's exactly what God does for us. God doesn't tell us that the path is going to be easy or simple or straightforward, but God tells us that whatever path it might be, even if it's a path that takes us in a difficult place or a dangerous place, he is going to be with us. He is going to be with us. He is going to protect us and he is going to watch over us so that we can do great things for him. Without the protection, the candle will go out how quickly? In a blink of an eye. Yeah, in a blink of an eye. It would go up very fast, as soon as the water hit it. But you know what? With the, with the cup protecting it, it was able, it had an air bubble, and it kept it safe and protected. It's the same way with God. God's going to watch over us and protect us. Even in hard times, even in times where we may not be sure that what's ahead of us is something we can handle or deal with, it's a reminder that God is there to be our strength. And do you think that's just for a minute? Do you think it's for what? Forever. It's forever. That's right. It is forever. And that's the great gift that God gives to us. So we need to remember to watch out for God's protection and what else does it tell us to say? What else does it tell us that we are to do? We are to do something. In those days when you pray, when you pray I will listen. And what else are you going to do? You're going to watch. watch or look for God. And that's important to do. And that's important for us to do as, as God's children too. We need to look for God to see where he is and to see how we can help and we also need to make sure we take time to pray. Because what do we do in, pray, in prayer? We ask him to help us, help us and to guide us. guide us. That's right. And that's important. Because sometimes we want to do it by ourselves. But instead, when we do it by ourselves, we often get into trouble. 
into trouble. But when we do it with God, he helps. helps us. So let's bow in a moment of prayer. I want you to repeat after me, okay? It is sinking. I know there's a little bit of water in it. All right, let's pray. Dear God, Dear God we, thank you we thank you for all the promises, all the promises and, all the hope and all the hope that you give to us. Help us when we struggle and when we're unsure of what to do next. Help us to take time and to seek you in prayer so that we might know where you will lead us. Continue to watch over us and help us to see the places you need each of us to be. Watch over us now. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so that's it for this week. Uh, next week we're going to have you waiting goodbye to leave us. Oh, next week we're going to be hopefully outside, and we'll hopefully have a uh, fairly good size experiment uh, next week. Oh no! Oh no! It could be a good the one last next one week. Wasn't that good. Well, the last one was good for Cedric. Well, <laughs> sort of was. Got a blister. He did get a blister. That's all. Well, it wasn't too serious. Though. Anyways, we'll see you next week for our children's story. And like I say, hopefully if the weather's good, we'll be outside for that one. See you later. Bye-bye.